Okay, so again, uh, we are back with the continuation of our Git tutorial. So we have seen uh, most of the commands in our uh, previous video. So now we are left with branch, checkout, and then uh, merge. Okay, so now let's jump in. So this is where we left our code last time. So let's clear this one. Uh, now, so the the concept of branch is very very uh, you know nice, which means that uh, uh, normally in the uh, uh, work environment we'll have a master branch, we have a develop branch, and we have a feature branch. Which means uh, any change we are doing, it will be done separately. It's an experimental thing. Once we see all are good, then we'll merge those changes into the master branch. Okay. Assume if you have a software in which you know uh, two different teams are working on two different features, then probably what they will do, they will create. Uh, so at one point in time they will create two different branches okay uh, then they will work independently then at the end of the work they will try to merge those two branch into the master branch okay now let's try to simulate the same thing so here uh, uh, for our current status is you can see that we have file 1 file 2 secret your friend is having file 1 file 2 all okay so even the git log if and if and one line git log if and if and one line so both are exactly same. Uh, I think this is not having this. Okay, get pull. Fine. So now what will happen? Uh, we, again, uh, so at this point in time, exactly the codes are same. Okay, exactly the uh, both the uh, versions are same. So now, again, you are going to do some feature, and your friend is uh, going to do some feature. Okay. So we are going to do a command git checkout hyphen b, and say that you uh, know uh, brand or uh, a and ch1, branch one so this hyphen b if there is no branch then it will create one okay and your friend is doing git branch hyphen b uh, branch two oh sorry git checkout you know what happened was uh, whatever the you no know, uh, uh, whatever the data uh, the code was there until this point of checkout the same copy was taken out and uh, now it's called as branch 1 for uh, your, your, your in this uh, no, uh, terminal and branch 2 for this terminal okay now what he is doing uh, now you can use a command git branch it will tell you that you are in branch 1 okay here git branch says you are in branch 2 okay now he is adding uh, a new file file uh, 3 say for example and say adding file 3 in new branch okay uh, here he is adding uh, maybe file 4.txt adding file 4 under branch 2 okay fine so now uh, as usual git add dot git commit hyphen m uh, we say that add, add file 4 git uh, push okay so uh, okay first time uh, again the yearly we put uh, we set the origin to master right now what we do git uh, push hyphen new origin uh, origin is what branch 2 okay so here we say again git add dot git commit hyphen m adding file 3 uh, we do git push hyphen u origin uh, branch 1 okay cool so now uh, cool so now if you go to here ls we have 1 2 and 4 here we have uh, 1 2 and 3 okay uh, now what is going to happen uh, basically uh, we want to okay we have done everything so basically we want to push into the master branch right so what we will do we will uh, no go to uh, git branch hyphen a so currently we are in branch 2 okay so we'll switch back to uh, git uh, check out master so i'm switching back to master branch and then i issue a command git merge uh, branch branch so now i'm merging my branch 2 changes into master okay so here you can see uh, we have 1 2 1 4 okay, cool here say for example we are in branch 1 right uh, and we have a file so here also I, what i'll do i'll go to check uh, git checkout uh, master okay i do like uh, git merge branch 1 okay now 
again we are in the same situation right but within this branch whatever the commit i have i uh, will do uh, that will not have any conflict because every time i push i am pushing to the separate branch so the same goes here so everything will go to branch one here everything will go to branch two here but at the end after we uh, merge it now everything is there under the master branch in two respective things now again we are uh, back to square one uh, which means now we need to do a git pull okay so let's do uh, git pull okay and here we'll do a git pull okay now let's see ls one to one to three here we ls one to four so now uh, let's do a git just a minute okay so basically now uh, the point here is let's go to git status okay so the so we have merged locally right but we have not uh, pushed the changes to the master branch so here we'll uh, git push hyphen new origin master so now only we are syncing our data with the uh, github okay so let it be done okay uh, cool i think it's done right yeah so here we do a git pull now okay the same way so let's do this one so now do ls now we have one two three and four okay uh, but the point is here we have something which is not there here right if you remember uh, if you go to ls here so here we don't have file 3 at all because file 3 is added by this branch uh, i know we just uh, added and merged into the master and then we pulled the additional changes from master but we have not yet pushed so now if you do a git status okay we have something here uh, the commit which is not pushed so we'll do a git uh, push hyphen new origin master then we are pushing this change to the github then we'll just pull this change using git pull now everything in sync okay so that's the thing which i want to cover basically we have seen uh, how the git branch git checkout and git, git merge worked and uh, yeah that's the uh, end of this uh, small uh, tutorial i hope uh, it gives you gives you some uh, no overview about uh, how the git is working okay but uh, we have uh, addition to that we have many you uh, know different features uh, uh, but these are the one which will be uh, most commonly used in the projects okay so yeah so that's the end of this video i hope you liked it uh, let me know in the comment section if you want more uh, i'll see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching